Greenville is a town made up of fighters. The 1927 flood devastated the Greenville area and the Delta. The entire community rebuilt from scratch and they built a great town. Flashing forward almost a hundred years, this town has been devastated by just by everything. I bought all this property and these buildings, they were vacant for nearly 30 years. To bring life back into it was something that, that excited me. And then and look at it today and, and we're excited about what we've done. We've created a very unique uh, atmosphere, one of the fine dining restaurants in the Mississippi Delta. And the enthusiasm level that it brought for our community to revitalize this entire block. It's always that you take two steps forward and one step back. So we just had a huge weather event here and tornadoes. And if you look behind me right here, we had a, a structure that was moving to get demolished, but it sped it up. So you see we have this beautified area right here of, of restaurants, but then around the other side, we have a building that we're trying to find funds to help remove from a weather event that got demolished. We'd like to transform the space I'm sitting in now into a green space, sort of a focal point for downtown, which would replace another one that um, is being utilized for something else for the building of the federal courthouse. The green space we had before was an empty lot, just like the one I'm sitting in. And there was a group of people uh, that, that sort of had that vision to transform it into a green space downtown. As soon as we did it, we created a festival. That festival brings in 20 to 25,000 people. Uh, for one weekend in October, it sells out every hotel room we have, it sells out hotels in surrounding towns, further develops our downtown, gets people interested in reinvesting. So what we can do is incorporate the artifacts that we were able to save into that green space. This is a continuation. We haven't gotten rid of all our history. The Weatherby House in Greenville is the oldest house structure in Greenville. It was recently purchased, and you can see they're doing construction there right now if you peek in. They'll do little pop-up shops and everything, uh, and uh, I think eventually it might have an Airbnb, possibly a coffee shop and bookstore. An area such as this would be great for a parklet. This would be, I mean, imagine lights going back and forth at night with tables, maybe a little water feature. This is where a concert should be. This is where a vibrant com uh, community exists right here. This is a beautiful downtown. I mean, you have a celebration of World War II veterans. You have banks. You have churches. You have retail. You have the bones and the structure for so much greatness and so much opportunity. Now, this is a success story right here. And this, this lady right here, she opened Sippy Gal Fashion. And it is such an amazing success. It's a fashion boutique. And then going back to that storm, and I said that punch in the gut right next to her, the storm came, knocked out all the windows to these buildings where we're trying to help sell and get people downtown. Uh, when you're working on a downtown area um, and you have something like this happen, it does set you back. And, uh, but you gotta keep moving forward. And, and uh, you know, for any downtown or any town in general, you gotta have a vision and you gotta have a plan. And when opportunities come along, you gotta seize but with Main Street Greenville, they have a facade grant that would help each and every one of these buildings. We have the businesses, we have the people. They want to come in, they want to invest, but sometimes it's just a little more than what some can afford, and that's where we're hoping you can help us. Helping us make this investment in choosing Greenville will only help us more create greater opportunity, create more investment, create more economic development, create more jobs, and just have a trickle and rollover effect and ripple effect to the community to make greatness happen. So if you pick Greenville, and we want you to, right? You, we want you to come in, we are ready to go to work. Greenville is a place where there is a spirit of survival. My heart and soul. Greenville is my hometown, and I love Greenville. Greenville is the best place to live. Greenville is love and togetherness. Greenville is pride in its cultural diversity and its wonderful active volunteerism. A great place to raise a family and operate a business. 
is full of potential. And the place where I've been given a chance to start my dream. Greenville is a city rich in history, tradition, and as you can see, community. We love Greenville! And so HGTV, I'm asking you, choose Greenville. We're asking you to choose Greenville. So please choose us.